In this video, we're going to be diving into custom cybersecurity GPTs and how these extremely smart AI models are changing the cybersecurity landscape. Given the recent announcement of custom GPTs, I thought this would be the best place to start looking at what's already out there for cybersecurity. In cyber, understanding and analyzing tons of data is like a superpower, and that's where GPT-based models, like the ones I'm about to show you, come to excel. What makes custom cybersecurity GPTs really stand out is that we can train them to become experts in specific security tasks. Just by fine-tuning them with data from our specific industry, we can make them laser-focused and super effective, like you'll see shortly. I'm going to share some of the recently created GPTs by the community and give a few of them a test so you can see exactly what they are like. And if you haven't seen my previous video on how to create custom GPTs, then click the banner above because I recommend watching that first before you proceed with this video. Everything in this video will be for educational purposes only. So as I just mentioned, we'll be reviewing some of the GPTs made by the community and when researching I came across this amazing repo of custom cybersecurity GPTs. So before I go any further, make sure you check out the creators of this repo, everything will be down in the description and definitely give them a follow. I'm taking absolutely zero credit for what's on this page, I'm just reviewing it and testing it out for you all to see. So when you get to this page, you'll first notice that there are a large number of different GPTs for cybersecurity needs, and they all have different use cases. So just to scan through, we have GPen Tester, which is obviously used for penetration testing. There is a Cyber Mentor, which is used for teaching the basics to advanced for cybersecurity. There is a SOC Copilot, which is used for keyword-based guidance. Hacker News GPT, which summarizes the top hacker news stories for daily or weekly news. Then we also have Hack GPT, which is a personal security tool. Data Analysis, which allows you to drop in any files and analyze them. We have CISO AI, which is a team of cybersecurity experts providing comprehensive advice on all security aspects. Cyber GPT, which is a number one cybersecurity advisor and code security, which is an, in an interactive secure coding exercise based on the OWASP top 10. So a large variety of different ways of using custom GPTs. I definitely recommend you check them out. So let's take a look at some of these to see how they are. We'll start with the Threat Intel Bot. As you click the link, you're directed straight to the GPT. You can see the name and who's created it. Then underneath this, you have some conversation starters in case you're not sure what to put in. So let's look at those first. You have tell me about the recent activities of APT28. Can you provide an update on APT32's recent cyber attack? What are the latest MITRE techniques associated with? And finally, how is APT10 evolving in its cyber espionage tactics? I wanted to make sure to test the GPTs with slightly complex questions that the free version of GPT could not answer. So I wanted to see exactly how complex they were at handling different queries. So I decided to ask, tell me the latest known IOCs from the Move It attack by Klopp. Now this has not happened too recently, but recent enough that the ChatGPT free version could not answer. And straight away here you can see that the Threat Intel bot is visiting a numerous amount of websites just to pull back the information it needs to answer my query. And then we can see it populate with an answer with the indicators of compromise for the move it attack. It's giving me a number of Yara rules along with file hashes and giving me a short description of any signs of compromise that I should look for. This amazed me quite a lot because in a live incident if you can pull back information like this from across the web it would be really useful in terms of incident response and finding indicators of compromise. Now let's try another question. For this one, I wanted to use something that was in the news quite recently, and this was from an article from exactly the day that I was searching, so November the 13th. I asked it to tell me about the threat actors behind a new ransomware group called Hunters International, and you can see straight away again, it's visiting a numerous amount of sites to pull back the information, and there we have it, it's being populated straight away with the type of information I would be looking for, so background on Hunters International, what they focus on, their extortion tactics, and just some general background information. So a really useful custom GPT tool. And what really sets this apart is the fact that I said this was from a news article today and it's already used that information, so it's pulling from the relevant resources. 
Next up, we'll be testing CyberGPT, which will provide the latest CVE details. Again, you can see some conversation prompts. So we have scan my domain for vulnerabilities. Is my IP address vulnerable to Heartbleed? Give me the latest CVE related to Java and show me how to test for Shellshock. Again, similar to the last one, I wanted to test with something that was more relevant or recent. So I asked it to give me the latest CVE related to Apple iOS 17. And you can see it's visiting a numerous amount of resources all related to CVEs and it's already populated and is providing me the information I would need if conducting any sort of vulnerability management task or if I was just interested in the latest vulnerabilities. For the next question, I wanted to make it less specific but also point it in the right direction of what I was looking for. So I've told it I'm working from home on a Windows device. I want to know the latest CVEs that I should be aware of. And straight away you can see it's already searching the websites I was expected to browse. So you can really tell the creator of this GPT really knows what they're doing when it comes to CVEs which just gives you that reassurance that you'll be provided with the correct information. But obviously you'd always want to do your due diligence and read through the information as it's not always 100% accurate. And there we go, we can see the results now when it's providing us with some Windows CVEs as it's picked up that I was working from a Windows device. So these should be the latest CVEs related. I did want to see if it picked up me working from home, but it didn't seem to mention that anywhere in its answer. However, I could have probably worded that a little bit better or made it a bit more specific. Next up, I then wanted to review the MITRE GPT. So this will basically match any information that you put in against the MITRE ATT&CK framework. And for anyone that doesn't know, MITRE ATT&CK framework is basically a knowledge base of advers adversary tactics and techniques based on real world observations. So what I've done is basically told it that I'm mean targeted by a phishing campaign and I just want it mapped to MITRE. And you can see it's exactly done that. And so I can now go to MITRE and view the relevant mitigation technique and put that into action or just use this information to log it within the alert. Which alongside this, or what a lot of people do is use the MITRE attack framework to mac up against in their alerts. So I've told it I've created an alert that detects for multi-factor authentication interception. Can it map this and also give me the mitigation ID? And you can see it's searching its knowledge base and obviously provided me the results straight away with the tactic technique and the mitigation ID. So this is more of a really good time saving task, saving you from searching the framework and you can pretty much get your results straight away. So that was just a quick review of some of the cyber GPTs at the moment. And if you're interested in this type of content, do join my Discord. The link is in the description. And if you've enjoyed the video, do leave a like. It massively helps the channel out. And let me know down below in the comments if you've seen any other good cyber GPTs. And I'll maybe give them a review in a future video.